his just to brawl, but. Go for it. I'm going for it. Uh, I just ended up in Whistler. Um, actually, my mom came home from the library one day, gave me this video, and I just put it in. It was called Whistler, and like the first shot in it was this like black and white photo of this guy just like teeing off the windlet, and he does a triple backflip, and then it just goes into like how big the mountains were, and I was just like, all right, I'm going there as soon as I can. So <laughs> the day I graduated high school, I think my buddy was waiting for me up front. And, Jumped into his Volkswagen van and drove to Whistler. Been there for 10 years now. Yeah, were you running the total like skid lifestyle when you first got there? Like, well, what, what's what's the skid scene there? I mean, I kind of know Jackson, but like, I mean, how do people first make it? You know, when they're like 19 years old in Whistler. Yeah, it's pretty similar. I'd say like, you know, you just you're doing what it takes to survive in a in a resort town. You know, and I think for a couple of years there was eight of us in a four bedroom house. It was just all skiers. We just wake up every morning and ski. Our whole lives revolved around going up the mountain and working several jobs throughout the summer. And uh, yeah, I painted a lot of houses in the summer and bust a lot of tables in the winter and just just skied a lot and took home food whenever I could from the restaurant <laughs> straight by. So. Who are the main guys that you shred with up there? Uh, when you're free skiing, you know. Ski a lot with uh, Matt Richard and James Heim, and uh, there's a whole French posse that is up on Black Home every single day. They're just yeah. permanently amped, so that's always good energy. Um, yeah, I mean, Ryan Oakton, tons of guys, just whoever's around. Just kind of like a posse of probably a dozen people that you know you can pretty much find on Black Home every day. It's Kai Peterson, Austin Ross, yeah. just guys like that. Macintosh, of course. Yeah, it's just a select few that are just, no matter what the snow's like, they're up there. Yeah. Well, there's a huge talent pool up in Whistler, and you obviously know a lot of those guys. I mean, who's who's the next up and comer? Who's gonna who's gonna blow minds? There's a lot. There's some really good skiers there, but uh, I guess Callum Pettit, Matt Richard would be two names that come to my mind. Yeah. Matt's just like skiing every day, and he just loves being in the mountains, and he's just I don't think there's an end to his progression as a skier, to be honest. And same with Callum, like just really young mind and like just. He just lives in a video game. It, it seems like when he's like when he drops into something. So. What do you mean by that? I mean the way he sees the features and stuff. Like it, it's pretty unlike a lot of people. And he's young, but he's really influenced by generations that have gone by. You know, in, in the past. So I think just his his new spin on on what uh, what has been done, his talent and growing up in Whistler and having a younger brother that absolutely charges. I think just all that together just um, gives them a whole new kind of uh, reflection on skiing. Your experience been been in Alaska, you know, over the last couple of years. It seems like you've uh, you've kind of come leaps and bounds. And you know, what what's the secret to your success in terms of being able to be up there with guys that have been up there for 13 years and yourself has been there for two years? Well, for one, is feeding off people that have had the experience and knowledge to be you know on the mount those mountains for years and years is one huge asset and then another is just living in a place like Whistler is just like the ultimate training ground like we're just doing like these big vertical laps and like we're always in exposure and just getting used to big mountains and then when you go to a place like Alaska where you know maybe everything's a bit bigger but the snow is hopefully good and you just have this just basically this like an endless opportunity to just express yourself and I think living in Worcester for 10 years, training, training, always thinking about being an AK one day. I think just that whole uh, that whole aspect is just paid off. And uh, now that I've been able to go there and dabble in it and have some some really cool people to look up to, it's just uh, it's starting to kind of work up. Cool. All right. Well, uh, thanks for uh, popping in and taking the time to shoot a little mini uh, combo here. But uh, good luck in Italy and. Uh, We'll see you up in AK when you're back. Sounds good, buddy. Right. Thanks for having me.